Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian Swain back here with another video for you. Uh, today I'm actually going to be with my boy Josh over at Vogelitis Bodybuilding and we're going to be going over blood flow restriction training, the application for it, its benefits, and how to use it. What's up guys? So, Brian here is going to be demonstrating today how to do BFR and kind of I'm going to be talking about the application, how to actually perform it. So, there's multiple ways you can do this. First off, what is BFR? BFR is the pretty much restriction of blood flow out of the muscle, but we're not restricting it into the muscle. So we're going to be using these, which are wrist straps, but you can also use knee wraps or like uh, some medical tourniquets. And there's only two places you ever want to kind of like strap yourself up. It's going to be right here at the very top of the arm, which we're going to be doing today for our arm training. We're right here at the very top of the thigh. You probably want to use knee wraps if you're going at the top of the thigh, just because most people, their legs are going to be a little bit thicker and you need to go a little bit tighter than normal. Which brings me to my next point. How tight is too tight? When you're doing these, you want to wrap what you would consider to be about a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10 on the tightness. That way you don't completely restrict the blood flow. If you're turning purple, it's too tight. You don't want that at all. But you want to kind of just have like a slight discoloration and you know it's going to be very painful. You're going to get an awesome pump by doing so. So we're going to wrap up right now. And like I said, we're using the wrist straps here. These are longer ones than most people. So we're going to wrap them right up here at the top. And Brian, tell me when the tightness is about. That's pretty tight, where it should be. That's good. Good? With that being said, whenever we work out, there's actually kind of a way to do so. You want to do about, the first set is going to be 20 reps, so Brian's going to perform 20 reps here. After that, you're going to rest about 30 seconds, perform 15 reps, rest 30 seconds, perform 15 reps, rest 30 more seconds, and perform 15 more reps, or right around a failure range of 12 to 15. The weight-wise here, we don't want to go too heavy. So the cool thing about BFR is you can actually get a similar response to heavy weight training using only about 20% of your one rep max. And we're still going to get a very good endocrine response and, you know, the IGF increase, testosterone, all that good stuff to help promote growth. Because we are still inducing hypertrophy through metabolic stress. So Ryan's going to go ahead and do his next set. Now, is this the best way to go about and increase muscle size? You know, is it the replacement for regular weight training? Probably not the best replacement for it if you can do normal weight training, but it's a great supplement within your normal program. So, say you go through a normal arm workout and you're pretty taxed at the end, you just want to kind of do something to get that last little burn, this would be something awesome to throw in. But what it's excellent for is for people who are injured and can't do heavy loads, but still want to get gains because you can only use about 20% of that one rep max, so you're not going very heavy. It's giving your tendons, joints, everything a great deload, but still getting that excellent endocrine response that we're looking for. Also, if you're a power lifter and you know you got a meet coming up or you're on a deload week and you want to continue to train body parts or some accessory lifts, see how he's turning color, sorry to change the topic, but he's not like a purple, but he's a slight discoloration from his normal skin getting a sick pump it probably burns really bad right now come on Brian good but when you throw it into a powerlifting program it lets you get the accessory work without causing too much stress on your CNS to where you're gonna affect your other workouts you know you don't want to affect your squat bench or deadlift too much so it's awesome for that so that's pretty much the application from it Brian did an awesome job how's it feel Sick pump. Man. It Seriously. hurts. Like honestly, like if it doesn't hurt, like the nauseating, like deep pain, you're probably not doing it right. But yeah, awesome work, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. So, Hopefully, you guys found some great benefit out of that. Um, I always said I wanted to bring some good education to the channel. I want to thank Josh. He's extremely busy, taking time out of his schedule to come help you guys. And hopefully, you find this beneficial. And stay tuned for another video. Thanks a lot.